Yeah, more than welcome to my YouTube channel. I have a very good news for you today. In today's tutorial, I want to teach you how to edit PLP test effect. How to create PLP test effect, how to edit it, and how to open it. Alright, so if you're lucky enough, you're going to have access to these test effects. These are test effects that was created with smartphone. You're going to have access to all of it if you are lucky enough all right okay so these are the these are the plp files you'll see them here all right so i want to show you how you can edit them this was created by um don paul so i want to show you how you can edit them all right so let us jump right into the video so i'm going to open pixel app all right so this is pixel app now the first thing i want to teach you is how you can create all right how you can create your own plp file plp file is the essential file for pixel app just like we have core draw file which is cd arrow all right so let's go let me show you this so we're gonna we're gonna type extension name potential file name for core core draw you see that it's called cd arrow all right so core draw software program use a proprietary file format called cd arrow all right it's designed and it's only compatible for core draw suite product only core draw now for there are other ones like psd all right psd for adobe photoshop okay we have dot ai for illustrator so that different these are different graphic design software Right, these are different graphic design software, and these are their various extension name. So, but for P for PS um, Pixel Lab, I don't know whether it's going to be online, but let me just check. For Pixel Lab, it is called PLP file. All right, it's called PLP file. What is the extension file of Pixel Lab? It's called PLP file. Uh, it is not here, but anyway, this is its PLP file extension. As you can see there, okay. It's a file for let me, so let me just go and show you now. So, this is a design I created now. If assuming I want to share this design with somebody, so the person can actually assess it, edit it, and do continue the work from wherever they are. All I needed to do is click on the project. Now click on the project and locate where you save the file. Now for this one, you can see that this file is saved here as Breath of Life. Are you seeing that now? Very good. Now the next, if you want to save this file as a PLP file so that you can share it to somebody, all you need to do is to come over here, look at this icon that is close to it. That icon is a share icon. Just click on it once. Once it will load. You see that you see a message there. It has been saved. I see a message at the bottom there. It has been saved. Now let me click on it again so that you will see the message. Alright, before I before I click on it, I want to I want to draw a boss here. Sorry, I've opened the wrong file. So before I click on it, I want to I want to draw a boss here so that you will see the message that will pop up. So I want to draw a boss here. So look at this area where I drew, drew the boss. You will see that a file is going to pop up. All right. So look at it again. I you seeing the message here? It means that this file has been saved. It has been saved to my phone. So let me go and show you where it is now. It's going to be saved in your Pixel Lab folder. It's going to be saved inside your Pixel Lab folder. So go to your internal storage device. You will see Pixel Lab. 
you will see it as a recent file that was saved as a look at it i see a 20 megabyte breath of life i clicked on it twice so it said two times that's why you are seeing it here are you seeing the file name dot plp so this file i can open it or share it with a friend and the person will open it now for example if i share this file with you now and you want to open it i will share it with you to open it how do you do it you will go to your pizza lab like this go to your pizza lab like this mm -hmm. then click on my project right now to open it click on my project then click on you see dot plp there this is how to open plp files click on that once it should take you to your phone directory now locate the pixel lab folder all right just locate the pixel lab folder because it is saved in the pixel lab folder so locate it on your device so i'm going to be careful to locate the pixel lab folder all right, so you have to go up. Then this is the pixel art folder. I've located the pixel art folder. I will open it now. Then I will check for the PLP. All the PLP files, and you are going to see them in the pixel lab icon. You see the pixel lab, pixel lab icon or logo. So look for the name Breath of Life. As you can see it here, I have seen it Breath of Life. Look at it here. So I will click on it once. And they're going to ask me do you want to add it to your project as well or do you just want to open it if you if you click open it it will just open it will not save but if you click open and add it will open and then it will be saved to your project so let me just open it if i just open it means i have to save it again i seen it it's going to open like this on your device so i'm going to drop the plp file for this breath of life in the description so that you open it and tell me if it worked it's very very easy to locate it go to your pixel lab folder in your phone you will see it there okay that is that now i want to show you how you can all use this method to edit plp test effect so let's use this method now to open a test effect i just downloaded so i'm going to click on plp now this this test effect was downloaded um in a folder called download so you have to be sure where you are um, downloading your stuff so this one was downloaded in this folder called um in this folder called download so i'm going to click on it open and i'm going to ask you the question again so when they ask you the question so you decide what you want to do so now this one i'm going to open and add so click on open and add and then it will be open all right so it will be open so it has been open so this is the file now this file has been created already by somebody so what you are going to do now is to edit it to edit it these are text all these guys you see here they are text are you seeing it now so it means if you want to edit all of it all right if you want to edit all of these guys you are going to edit all these all these text all of them all the text so let's assume i want to change that word to something else are you with me you want to change that word to something else? let me change that word to um red bread okay it means i will start here all right there are there are one two three four five six so i'll begin here i will click edit i'll change it to bread and use any font i want to use but let me use the same fonts i've changed the first one i will click on the second one i will change it to bread so let me just copy it and be pasting in the other ones okay then i'll click on the third one i will change it to bread and i'll click on the fourth one i will change it to bread and i'll click on the fifth one and I will change it to bread. Okay, I will click on the sixth one and I will change it to bread. If you notice now, the font have been changed. So if I want to centralize everything, I will just come over here, click here, and I will click one, two, three, four, five, six. Now click here, and then I will centralize it at the middle. 
Are you seeing it now? I have changed it. So if you want to use this for your design, only this text effect, that means you are going to go to this guy, click on transparent, all right? Then you're going to come over here and remove the background. Remove this background, all right? So you're going to save it like this as a transparent PNG, like this, so that you can import it and use your design. Are you getting me now? So that's how you edit your test effect. So if I save this guy now as a PNG, all right? So I save it as a PNG. It means I can use it for any design that I want to use it for. Remember, you must learn how to do it. All right. So watch the video very carefully to learn how to do it. So I'm going to go over to a design now. Let's assume that I want to use it in this design. I want to just show you how to do it. So I have saved it now so I can bring it now to this design that, that I want to use it for. But you must be careful that you have known <laughs> your, your background and everything. So this is it. Are you seeing it now? I can decide to use it now for this design if I want wanted to. Are you seeing it now? You see that now? You can see how it just brought life, another another beauty to the design. You see that now? So that's how you actually edit PLP files. Okay? Now, do you want to have access to all these PLP files? Everything that you see here, everything. Do you want to have access to them? Everything. These beautiful guys. If you want to have access to them, are you seeing them now? So that you can just edit and use for your design. Do you want to have access to them? If you want to have access to them, I want you to watch the video and pay attention to the 10 digit password that you're going to see appearing on your screen by different interval in pairs so you see it coming two 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 put all the two digit password together to complete a 10 digit pin if you get the pin correctly click the link in the description click the link in the description you will see the first link click on that link and if your password is correct, you will have access to all this. It is that easy. All right. I congratulate you in advance if you are patient enough to get it. My name is Ni Yamuda, and I will see you in another tutorial.